Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, we have another big storm threat tomorrow. This one looks to deliver more so in portions of Louisiana, perhaps in Acadiana. We do know it's going to be a very windy day. One of the windiest days you'll see outside of a tropical storm. And on top of that, the threat of severe weather banging on through as we head through the early afternoon hours. So let's take a look at those storm threats as we move forward for tomorrow. A fairly high signal, at least for Acadiana, for isolated strong tornadoes, perhaps, and certainly wind damage. We're going to see gusts 50 to 55 before the storms even arrive for a couple of hours. So it's going to be like a mid range tropical storm during the midday hours tomorrow. And then in any severe storms, there could be gusts well in excess of 75, maybe 100. It depends on uh, where those isolated severe storms and supercell storms form up, maybe producing isolated tornadoes, maybe some hail in the mix. Flooding we're not concerned with at all because these storms are going to be in and out in about 30 or 45 minutes, depending on your locale, no more than an hour. So this is the upper level low that's causing the situation. This is going to be swinging around and eventually take on a negative tilt. This is what we call a positive tilt. And when it takes a negative tilt, that's when the things become more tornadic and that's what we expect for tomorrow. But already we can see the jet stream fanning out, allowing for thunderstorms to breathe and the threat of severe weather from Iowa now all the way down through uh, deep into the heart of Texas across the hill country where we have severe thunderstorm. A wide is in effect and a number of warnings, tornado warnings in uh, uh, Missouri and some severe thunderstorm warnings and some flood warnings going at this hour. So uh, this is a potent storm system and now it moves eastward tomorrow and the tornado risk increases across portions of Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama. The risk of strong damaging uh, winds with some of those storms in excess of 75 and isolated strong tornadoes EF2 or greater. We're not sure if we're going to see a tornado outbreak, uh, but I would bet on Mississippi and Alabama seeing several tornadoes and there'll be a few in Louisiana as well. And the most likely area for tornadoes along and north of the I-10 corridor, the moderate risk zone, that's a level four out of five, includes St. Landry, Evangeline, up through Rapides and Avoyle. So let's break down the specific risks for tornadoes, the risk of an EF2 in the hatched area. So that's anywhere from uh, most of Acadiana and the percentage goes up higher into Mississippi. But notice 10%, that's a pretty high number for us in these parts at any time during the year. So the risk of a few tornadoes and then the wind damaging threat is significantly higher. 30% chance of damaging winds within 25 miles of your home tomorrow. 45% for the northern parishes of Acadiana. So that's pretty, uh, pretty high for us for sure. So keep that in mind. So here we have the high wind warning for tomorrow. Gusts to 50 to 55 will be likely. Stronger gusts and storms possible. And on top of that, uh, we do have a coastal flood advisory tides coming about a couple of feet above normal with those strong southerly winds. So here comes the showers and storms right around noon tomorrow. The gusts increasing showers and storms getting better and better organized. Perhaps a couple of cells that will be producing isolated tornadoes. Squall line gets its act together just as it's moving through Acadiana and Lafayette and then gets uh, maybe even a little bit stronger toward Baton Rouge before uh, things move on into eastern Louisiana. So prime time for the storms noon till about five o'clock for Acadiana. Indiana, three o'clock. It looks like for Lafayette, give or take an hour and that significant tornado threat will be across Senla into the northeastern part of the state. But the risk of tornadoes will continue for most of Acadiana until that squall line passes that before five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And here are the winds latest her model winds gusting 35 to 40 overnight tonight, and then they really ramp up in the 50s tomorrow at lunchtime, and then they'll continue 50s to six, a few 60s showing up in some of those strong storms and in any severe storms we'll see gusts well in excess of 75 and you can see those strong winds continue across the area so expect uh, the windiest day you'll have outside of a tropical storm or a hurricane for tomorrow 70 overnight tonight breezy for sure gusts uh, in the 30 to 35 mile per hour range maybe a few gusts to 40 but that's usually less likely at night because we don't have the nighttime air is a little bit more stable then tomorrow skies darkening up at noon at least in Lafayette
yet. Showers and storms moving in. It's going to be a stormy period between noon and about four o'clock and then thereafter conditions will improve and the skies will clear in time for sunset tomorrow. So as we go into the 10 day forecast tomorrow's that weather alert day. Beautiful day for Thursday into Friday. Scattered showers and a few storms possible early Saturday, but no severe weather there. We hope and then maybe another weather system come next Tuesday. That could be another weather alert day, but look out for tomorrow. I know schools are canceling and all of that, but uh, better to be safe than sorry in mm -hmm. a lot of different ways. And last time we didn't see a whole lot of severe weather in Acadiana, but we cannot forecast tomorrow's weather based on what we experienced right. Tuesday, which I see a lot in the comments section of the Facebook page. Oh, so you know, you know the how comments don't read section. the comments. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Come on, Thanks, Rob.